Good morning, everyone. This is Julie McDonald with Microcom Technologies, and I'd like to thank all of you for attending today's webinar with Fanville. Today's host is Tommy Lee. He is their Vice President of Sales in North America, and he'll be presenting today. If anyone has any questions, please submit them in the question box, and I'll ask them of Tommy at the end of today's presentation. Tommy, thank you so much for being with us today. We appreciate your time and all of your information you're going to share with us. I am finished for now. Please go ahead and take it on over. Thank you very much for the introduction, Julie, and thank you, uh, the audience, both ladies and gentlemen. Good morning or good afternoon, depending on what region you're in. Um, I recently came on board in Fanville, and uh, you know, Fanville has made some significant investments in broadening the uh, business presence here in North America and uh, brought me on board probably at the middle of August timeframe and I'm resident in the San Francisco Bay Area, California. So I'm happy to be here and I ask everybody who's listening in to please use me as a local resource so that on both uh, business as well as maybe even technical questions that you may have, please feel free to contact either Julie or myself and we'll be more than happy to, pre to, to help you out. Anyways, um, I don't know if, if, if Fanville is very familiar with everybody, but let's, let me just provide a very brief overview about who we are. Uh, we've been in the SIP industry for a very long time. Uh, in fact, we've been around since 2002. Uh, we're headquartered in China and currently at about 200 employees globally. So we're not really a small company. We're kind of a medium-sized company. But our core competency has always been building SIP endpoints. And I think the focus of this presentation is really looking at the X4U desktop phones, which is really our biggest seller uh, throughout all our product line. But one of the things I wanted to also mention is the fact that we're also a leading OEM manufacturer. And what that really means is, is that we're also a manufacturer to a lot of the other uh, phone brands that you may or may not have been in contact with. And in fact, uh, some of our partners are large enough, but I'm sure most of you have actually seen or touched our you know, end products for our customers as well. Um, our product line as it goes through our core competency ranges anywhere from desk phones, uh, paging ad adapters. We also deal in the hospitality market, but I won't focus on that for now. Uh, these will be separate type of video webinars that we could focus in on the future. But for this episode, we'll look at the uh, desk phones. Um, exceeding partner and uh, customer and partner expectations, um, all the tools that people have been in the industry for a long time have gotten used to, trust me, Fanville has. Uh, we have everything from a redirection service to a provisioning service, and also work with third-party manufacturers because we understand that time is money and that you want to go ahead, deploy the phones, and get out as soon as possible. But what I want to focus in on is quite frankly, uh, some of the things that we have is, is, is our phones is the, really the large screens, uh, items that are really focused in on contact center. We have Android phones, but some of the differentiators that we have, which is really the focus of my presentation, is look at how we differentiate. You know, as I've, as I've been in the industry for a long time, many people ask me, how do you, what's the difference between your phone and somebody else's phone? Well, I'm glad you're joining this session because that's going to be my, 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 my focus. Some of the things that we've done is really up the quality, meaning that we've actually placed Harman speakers inside our phones to really improve the sound quality. And in addition, you know, loading the latest Opus codec and everything else that really brings it at or above par. Uh, we've also extended and doubled the warranty of what typically the industry provides by providing a two-year warranty. And of course, for business and technical support, not only do you have people that are work multiple shifts overseas to really help you out, but you also have myself here in America to really provide a local contact and I could be your evangelist for the product folks across the stream, across the pond actually. Uh, just to give you a quick glimpse, uh, you know, we have offices in, you know, around the world uh, here, one, one in the States, you know, and, and, and obviously the rest in China. Uh, we're based in Shenzhen, and everyone here, you can actually see, you know, people located in Shenzhen as well as we also have a division in Beijing as well. Um, moving forward, uh, besides the actual product overview, let me get into the product portfolio for a second. Uh, there are really three items that I want to focus in on. And 
Item number one that you see here is really looking at the top desk phones. This is the product line that we're gonna, I'm gonna go over and focus in on today. But at the same time, I also wanna notice that on hospitality, on number two, we also have both low end, medium, as well as high end phones that are full uh, color screen that we provide to the hospitality market. And we do pretty well in that marketplace. And then the third piece is really what we call the door management system or intercom system because we do SIP endpoints. There's a lot of customized things that we do on the side that actually interface not only without desk phones, but any desk phone that has an H264 codec that's able to stream video so that people can go ahead and for security purposes to see who's at the front door or who's at a parking lot or at a train station, et cetera. And you can just push any button on the phone, it'll actually trigger these things. And we come and preform or actually provide a PA2 later on that will actually give you the capability of putting a SIP adapter to any existing infrastructure. But I'll get into that in just a short moment. When you couple all of these items together right here on, on M, which is number three, we have a thing called FMBS and FMPS. And what that is, is that that really is a redirection service that reprovisions our phones and as well as a local management service to allow you to auto deploy and manage a lot of these phones remotely uh, on your system. So it gives you a, a single GUI that's capable of not only managing and provisioning our phones, but also being able to manage these door phones as well, all under one GUI. So these are the things that we provide to you, and these things are sort of free, uh, free of charge that we bring to our partners. And you're more than welcome to contact either Julie or myself for more information on these products, on these solutions. So things can be divided into really three categories. Uh, the X series, which is what I'll focus on today, which is really bolded in red. And then we have the H series, which is really stands for hospitality, and the I series, which is really what we call our intercom series. But right now, let's go focus on the X series phones and move forward with our desk line. One of the items that I want to introduce today is really our XS and primarily our XU series phones. Um, these are our new phones that are actually going into production at the end of this month, and we actually have uh, quite a number of samples today for your use and evaluation. And in fact, I want to look and seeing that we address both at the lower end, at the left side, the entry uh, with the XS model, and the XU that covers really the mid to high models. Uh, this is where the bulk of our business is located at, and I'm going to ride into all of these features and how we differentiate the customers. And then we have the X7 series, which is our high level executive phones that really provide the ability for us to provide touchscreen capabilities. And for those who really don't like touchscreens, because what I found out in selling to this industry, people either love it or hate it. But the good news is that we've actually went down both paths so that if you don't like touchscreens, we actually have a button screen version that actually duplicates the performance of the touchscreen. Uh, while accommodating all of the interface through tricolor keys that give you all of the busy lamps and all the other types of functionality you're looking into. So when you look at these three series, we cover everything from the extremely uh, cost sensitive entry. And we're one of the first people that actually can introduce a color screen in that entry level mode. Certainly other people provide a color screen, but it's really their high end on their entry. What we do is that we actually compete against feature for feature and the cost wise that you can provide a color screen where others actually provide the same level of cost, but only provide a black and white solution. And we also bring on additional features at that same cost level. But I will get into that in a little bit deeper in my following slides. Okay. So let's just go over. This is kind of a, an eye chart uh, for you. I'm not going to go over this in detail, but this is a screenshot that I will provide a soft copy over to Julie at Microcom. And you can ask her or any of part of her staff, and she'll be more than happy to distribute uh, this uh, uh, presentation over to you. And as stated on the picture, this is the graphical representation. And I want to highlight some of the new things that we're introducing on the XU series is that it's bolded in red. What we've done is really taken these phones and really brought it up above par in terms of expectations where all of our phones from the X1 entry series start IPv6 and hearing being hearing aid compatible all the way from our low end to our mid to high end phones that are X6. 
Beyond that, many people who are adopting Opus, who, who provide you with a dynamic range of being low-end as well as high-end codecs, we put them in all of our phones, ranging from the low-end all the way to the high-end. Some of the things that you'll find in our higher-end phones, which is the X5U and the X6U, which really can be seen right here, is that these bottom two phones in the mid to high series also sport a internal uh, Bluetooth, meaning that Bluetooth is actually built into the phone, which is really great. Uh, when you go one model lower, it then uh, board of orders and, and as at par with our competition requiring a USB dongle. You know, why is that important? When you actually have Bluetooth built into the phone, that saves our partners another $25 to have to purchase an extra dongle so that you could either put on an earpiece or in my case, I like to use my phone very much as a Bluetooth uh, adapter for my smartphone because everywhere where I'm at in business, I tend to pair up these phones with my smartphone and the way it operates, it operates the exact same way as your car Bluetooth. So if anybody's out there who's lucky enough to have Bluetooth in their car, you could actually show up with a pair of Bluetooth phones. So every time your phone rings, your desk phone will ring. And then the reason why, you know, I find that the speaker system on a Harman-based uh, speaker phone is far better than holding a phone to my ear or the actual speakers on my phone. So that's kind of the nice pluses that come in with some of our mid to high phones on the X5 and the XU series. And obviously here, we have everything that has Gigi -E all the way from top to bottom. And we also include some video decoding on our higher end models, which means that supporting of the H.264 codec, you can actually take some of those video intercom that I showed earlier or any third party video camera and be able to see video, not only as a streaming JPEG file, but this is actual film where you can see in much higher resolution. So let's move on forward and see what we bring to the feature. Now, starting with our enterprise series, the X7, this is our touchscreen phone. And how do we differ a lot? Well, as I mentioned earlier, this phone really carries some of the highest SIP lines in the industry. You know, this has enough horsepower to really power 20 SIP lines and supports three-way conferencing. When I say high HD audio, we mean a lot more than HD audio. We took hardware a step further and being able to say we could differentiate ourselves by not putting OK speakers on the phone, but we actually went above and beyond and put a brand name that everybody recognizes. And if you listen to this actual phone, you will actually see the difference and actually hear the difference as well. It's a seven inch capacity touchscreen phone, which means that for those who like the touchscreen, you can actually contain uh, about, wow, how many SIP lines? About 127 DSS soft keys on this phone itself. Because even though you may not see a separate window, which kind of Fanville made famous, you actually have multiple pages of these uh, uh, keys that you can assign to whichever pieces that you want. And you can make them not only speed dials, but action URLs as well to be able to do things like open doors and do lots of other things. Uh, so a very unique design to Fanville is really our X210. Um, what we've done with this design is really integrated two sidecars onto one single desktop. And what you really end up with is really a vertical design, not only that matches from a uh, subjective uh, design perspective because all the keys on the extension boards match that of the actual SIP function, uh, the main desk phone, but you actually have multiple keys. So when you see this, it's actually equivalent to putting six different sidecars on an actual uh, main screen. And the good thing about this is that all the keys that you see on the main screen at the center of the phone are pretty much dedicated to SIP lines. For those who have dedicated and deployed SIP uh, phones very often. What we've done is, in a change in design is actually put in the SIP account so they're located in one window and then all of the speed accounts and the speed dials are located to the right. In legacy type of design, what you end up seeing is that every SIP account that you have, it ends up taking up more of the buttons and the windows that you see on the right hand side. And what we've done is really separated the windows, which gives you the capability to manage both of these things separately. And in addition to that, when you add up the desk phones and separate sidecars, you can't equate that to a single board design that we put in providing you with a very cost effective solution for those people who have to have multiple buttons right up front. You know, many people can say that, oh, this is for like a front desk, uh, you know, reception area.
but many people actually can locate this phone on their desktop and have all of the same features for people who really like a lot of buttons in there in, in, in doing their job. This is just a high level design kind of showing it here, a, desk, a person walking up to a, uh, a door keypad, seeing what they're showing and they actually see the, the pad on the left hand side showing up on the screen. And you can actually hook this thing up through Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Even though Bluetooth is integrated with this phone, you can actually have a Wi-Fi dongle, which Vandal provides as well through Microcom. And you can, you can then be able to, to have a system and be able to remote uh, enable this person coming in as long as they, you can actually see them as well. This is just a screenshot that gives you the big update on all their feature sets. Now, when you look at all three, the X7, X7Cs, and X210, local phone books have been beefed up from 1,000, from the 1,000 XU series to the 2,000, and that all of the Bluetooth has been integrated into the phone, saving you further cost. Uh, in terms of networks, all are giggy, and then all of them support video decoding, which is something that we that you can take advantage of, being a high screen, uh, you know, a high resolution screen up to seven uh, inches. Just a, a, a live shot to kind of give you a perspective of how the phone looks like on your desktop here on some of the high end phones. Now let's get into uh, some of the meat behind it. Now. This is just a quick snapshot today. Uh, we're bringing on partners, and as you come and see us a month from now, this list will be, become far wider because we're working with many partners today who are excited about the differentiation, uh, differentiated solutions that Fandel brings to the marketplace. So let's start and talk about differentiation. People ask me, what is it different about Fandel and any, many of the other phones? Let's start at the low end. In the low end, what you'll find is our X3G, is really what we call our entry level, and then we bring color into the entry level. Many people just provide a black and white screen, which is something that we do as well. Uh, this actually brings uh, a solution into the cafe or into the bathroom or any of these periphery sy systems that just has to pick up a phone and need dial tone. But for those who want to take a step up, we introduce a color screen phone that is very much at the same cost point as many others provide as their low end phones. In addition to that, you'll also find that we've added additional SIP accounts, like four versus a lot of the three that people support. Beyond that, if you want to add third-party headset adaptation, you also have the ability to bring on EHS support onto the very low-end phone, which is something that not many of the other manufacturers can do. Now, where we really stand out is that you can also OEM the color phone. You notice that right here under the OEM brand, you see the X3 SGN, it's the same model, but with a dash N. And what that means is really a neutral or a generic version. What that means is that you can go ahead and put your company logo. And all that we ask is that you provide a 200 unit minimum order quantity. And we'll go ahead and provide you either a blank uh, bracket to put on top of the phone, or we can go ahead and prevent, provide your logo and then a bracket and you can go ahead and put those logos on yourself or have one of our partners be able to provide that bracket into you. The generic screen that's inside the low end phone has been genericized so no one even knows where it came from and that primarily it came from you. So, you know, this is a capability that, that, that our, uh, you know, host and PBX providers provide and saying, hey, you know, why don't I bring my name out to the front of the screen or it could be a third party integ integrator that says, no, I'm the person that you should be contacting in the deep phone. And we provide that capability where many others don't. <clears throat> now let's look at the mid-size phones. We have the X3U, 4U, 5U, and 6U going from mid to upper end and more. And as you go increase in the numbers, you have more and more capabilities. What do we do? Even on the 3U, we, we introduce a color display where most of our competitors just introduce a black and white phone into that segment. We provide more SIP lines, typically less than 10 SIP lines within this uh, span period, and more keys. What that happens is, is, that, is that we also, like the other big end phones, you'll notice that we actually provided keys on the side of the buttons here on these phones. Now, what that brings you is a separated window that you can manage your accounts on one window and all of your speed dials on the second window, where competitive solutions, you actually have all of that solution integrated into one. So the more keys you add 
and 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 bring on the more uh, you know less window that you have for speed dial keys up front. Uh, in terms of quality, the this line contains Harman speakers, and we also back it with a two-year warranty. The OEM for your company, we actually provide it on the X3U and as well as the X5U. These are the left two units that you see here. So not only do you provide sort of a low end on the X3 SP to the X3U and then now to the 5U on the high end, we actually provide a genericized phone for our partners, for those who want to put their logo versus our logo. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and actually manage and provide your, your logo on a banner that's capable of being put onto this phone that makes it your phone. And the minimum order requirement that we ask is 200 units, similar to the entry level, and there's no NRE. Uh, generic, the internal GUI, and similar to the, to the entry level products, you too can also have, when they look inside for those admins, they won't even know it's from, from Fandel. You'll actually see that it's actually from your company. And from an end user perspective, you know, that's where they can actually touch base. I can't count how many times that someone calls me who is a endpoint manufacturer to how to fix a voicemail. And everyone on this call knows that we're just an endpoint for voicemail, but a lot of the logic exists at the actual PBX provider or at the IT slash integrator uh, team that's associated with that company. Now let's go on the high end, the X7 and the X7C. You know, this is the touch screen as well as the button version of the touch screen. For these two feature phones, we provide far more SIP lines in the industry. We provide 20 SIP lines versus 16, and that, again, saves you on the integrated Bluetooth on both of these phones, where it saves you an additional 25, and that becomes part of an issue. We do have a USB port uh, if you want to use a Wi-Fi dongle, but quite frankly, my personally, I like to use it to charge my phone. I think it's probably available in, in most cases, but... Uh, uh, the great news is that with the way that these phones are actually priced in the marketplace, for where you provide competitive solutions on a button phone, you can actually provide a touchscreen phone on the X7 for the same price as other people put for the touchscreen. If you want to go ahead and match feature for feature and save on cost, then I would highly suggest maybe exploring the, uh, the X6 solution here, go in that solution if price is sensitive. But if you want to add and bring on more features, then I would suggest to go after the X7, which gives you a touchscreen solution at a similar cost. Quality-wise, similar to the other phones, we bring on high HD audio with quality components. And in terms of OEM, you know, we're not necessarily out of the business. We don't necessarily mass produce this as of yet. But come and talk to us if you're interested in providing your name on these high-end phones as well. Likely, it won't be as low as the 200, but then you'd be surprised on, on what we'd be willing to do if we're willing to go ahead and have your name on these higher end phones as well. Let's talk a little bit more about the OEM product solutions. You know, I like to call it turnkey because quite frankly, we basically do 90% of the work for you. As I mentioned up front uh, on the top, the minimum order quantity is 200 units per order. And these are the actual line uh, numbers that we do. We do the X3 SG which is really the gig version of, of the low end phone, the X3U, which actually provides a higher end separated if, if Opus and, and IPv6 becomes an issue for you, as well as the higher end X5U end models. Looking at here, you can actually look at the boot up. This is gonna all be genericized for people who buy the dash N, which I call the neutral phone. And that the fan though that would normally come up during boot up will end up being genericized for you. You can actually put in your logo should you wanna do that. This is the banner I was talking about to the right where you can actually take out, it'll actually come blank screen. So either the integrator or the VAR or, or whomever or the partner can actually put in their own screen logo and pop it right in uh, with, with a blank or a custom banner to, for only 200 units minimum order quantity. If you actually want to order more, guess what? Then we're willing to go ahead and provide additional value for you. For those who want to add 500 units at a time, then guess what? We will go ahead and do this at the factory and ship it out of our factory. But we know that some of the people want to start off slow and we'll go ahead, but we'll ask that you provide the, 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 the tacking on to the assembly if you want to do 200. But if you're comfortable at ordering 500, we'll be more than happy to take that, that task and provide you with a phone with the, with the actual label on it just for you. In terms of packaging, 
the boxes will be generic and all the labeling will be so that uh, you know it'll come off and really be read as your brand name. This is the GUI uh, that I was talking about earlier in the lower left hand corner. It'll actually be genericized so that people that look inside and out will see your logo versus ours. In terms of looking at uniqueness and differentiation, we also develop an X2P, which is really a phone that's designed specifically for the contact center. What you see here is really a, a, a device that minimizes desk space while accommodating people who want to use headsets as, as the main key. And you could put this in and provides two lines and it actually gives you a very quick hold, mute, and answer button. Not only does it do it via hand, but it actually comes, you could actually provide an accessory foot pedal so that people who are riding with the hand, you could answer the phone just with a foot pedal and pick up the phone that way. It's really been designed for contact center applications. And when you look below it is really a, a, another version of the X210 that we showed before. This one includes a gooseneck. Why would you include a, goose, a gooseneck? Some people that work in noisy environments need the, the voice isolation to really be able to announce really the person uh, voice rather than the whole background voice in the case of schools. But what it also does, it also provides the capability of providing SIB hub functionality. What that really means is, is that you can declare one line that goes into this phone and this phone could actually play a sort of a master slave um, type relationship with many of the other SIP devices that share the same network so that once she gets one call, it then could go ahead and ring other phones simultaneously, either automatically or you could set up speed dials on these actual phones so that if you wanted to call the cafeteria, you could push one phone and it'll call all the phones or the speakers in the cafeteria, you could speak into it and, and vice versa. So it's really made for that specific um, uh, application or project moving forward. Um, something else a little bit different that's very, very popular is what we call our PA2. Uh, this is a public announcement system. Many legacy phone manufacturers actually hook in and, 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 and connect overhead speakers onto the legacy analog with digital lines. And once they upgrade it over to SIP, they go, look, I got working, I got working amplifiers and speakers that work. Why can't I just use it? Well, the answer is you can. With the PA2, you just assign basically an extension to the PA2, and then that will be able to interface to your amplifier and be able to use that on your SIP system. What is this PA2 kit? What this kit does is really, it not only can it provide an interface to a power amp, but it provides you with the capability of adding cameras, a button, a speaker input, as well as even uh, you know input output things so that you can actually adopt things that, that, that work with SIP environment, but you need to adapt it to work it, you know, from, a, from a new interface. I'll give you an example in this next uh, station right here. We did a project of which they had an, a, a standard encasing in a train station. And what they did was, we don't want to remove the encasing, but can you adopt this to work as of, as of SIP? So that with the PA2 in the kit, you can actually add a button, you can use their speakers and actually hook in a camera onto it. And once you hook that in, anytime who pushes a station platform, if they have an emergency uh, situation, somebody over at headquarters with an H264 camera can actually see them and actually respond remotely on finding out what's going on at that station. It could also work for parking gates. Many people who leave at a large hotel that, that have a problem with their card not working, they could push a button and the front desk can answer the phone saying, hey, what's going on? They could see the person and say, I'm having a problem with my ticket. And they too can actually you know, enable or release the parking gate as well. Guess what? They're not gonna change the parking gate as a result of the thing. So you're gonna have to adjust, adjust the interface of the parking gate for SIP, and this kit is, gives you that capability to do that. So let's talk about the partner support beyond the, 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 the thing. Uh, many of the items here may or may not uh, you know, trigger an idea in many of your heads, but uh, we work with Microcom and many of our distributors to be able to provide an NFR program. And what that is is really a one-time uh, low-cost solution that gives you gives our pending partners the ability to procure three of our units for testing capabilities at extremely low cost. You know, we don't intend to use this for production. So we, you can go ahead and ask up the three models and you can put one unit per model so that you could kind of kick it around and beat it up as you see please. 
to, to see if it fits your project or not. So we provide a channel to do that and feel free to contact Julie or anybody uh, or myself to see if whether or not you know, we have a solution that fits your specific needs. Again, RMA warranty, um, you know, we're able to be able to provide you with extremely low RMA performance and give you twice the industry standard. You know, most of the people support our phones with just one year. We come to you and provide two year warranties. I think that comes a lot close to what your terms may, may be with your customers, but we come right out of the factory with that type of backing. Again, this is my contact information and some of the toolboxes that you have for tech support, um, a download data sheet that we have for you. And as well, we also invite you to become a partner as well, you know, not only for just microcom, but if you want to get newsletters from Fanville, just come and log on and you'll be able to be, you know, kept up to date with all of our software updates, et cetera, moving forward. Uh, that's my contact information up front. Feel free to go ahead and send it to me. If not to me, you could give our whole sales team a call just by contacting sales. I could be copied on either one. So uh, that's all I have uh, for this today. And I you know, thank you very much for your time. I guess I'll hand this back over to um, Julie moving forward. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tommy, for that presentation. It was excellent. And I do have some questions here for you. Let's yes. go ahead and get started with the first one. Um, and I'm so happy you touched on uh, uh, support and who to reach out to. Um, yeah. What are the best hours of support we could depend on reaching somebody? Um, you could go ahead. You could always provide support. You can send any report into support at fanville.com. And I would highly suggest that you copy me as well because I tend to be also pretty technical in the background and, and, and half the time I could probably address most of the questions that I get spun up. I've been in this industry for a long time and that very often you can go ahead and send those to. You can obviously give me a call and if, if I can't give a call and I have to reach into product management, I could be your evangelist to work with our team uh, that's across the pond so that you know you don't have to necessarily stay up at late. And so by the time they get up, yeah, in the worst case, you should be able to get some sort of response from us within 24 hours. If not, I could already give you a response as well. One of the things I wanted to highlight on support is that there are many people out there, they know it's a global nation and we address uh, regions beyond America. We, we address Europe, Africa, Asia as well and that people actually work multiple shifts to really be able to provide that level of support to our partners. So my suggestion is send it to support, if it's technical, send it to sales, if it's business, and in both cases, copy me so that I'm informed of what's going on, and likely we can go ahead and get a response back you know, pretty shortly. If you need somebody live uh, during your time, give me a call, here's my number, and uh, you know, I'll see what I can do if I can help out. If not, you know, I, I know people that, that, that might be able to provide some, you know, assistance for you. Excellent. Thank you, Tommy. That was perfect. Mm -hmm. um, you, mentioned, you mentioned Fanville is headquartered in China. Uh, yes. Can we take it that um, the hardware is actually uh, manufactured there as well? Um, I would say that 99.9, .9, actually 99.9% .9 of the hardware is actually manufactured there. Uh, that ranges from a lot of companies that, that may be based here. There's a small segment that actually is provided probably within North and South America, but I would say probably the bulk, well over 98, 98 99% of the phone that's manufactured by almost all manufacturers are, are done in China. Excellent. Thank you very much. Um, can you tell me, are all of the uh, products, uh, uh, do they come POE? Yes, they do. Um, once upon a time, uh, as I showed in the in the uh, spreadsheet, uh, the only one that doesn't come with POE are what I would call the extreme uh, low end uh, phones uh, that that uh, that is probably not POE. But if you look at some of the early matrices, uh, I would say 99% of all of our phones. Oh, here we go. 99 of all of our phones actually support. Uh, power over Ethernet. That's something that, you know, even when you buy a very entry level car these days, they all come with um, power windows. And similarly, uh, POE is something that is pretty much standard in the industry, unless you want to go down to the really nitty gritty 
like here's the matrix I'm talking about. The only one that doesn't support PoE is really the uh, X1S, which is all the way on the left-hand side. But if you look at the checkbox on PoE, it's provided on every single one from our entry level all the way to the top end. So, yeah, the answer is yes. In 99% in, in of the cases, it's all PoE supported. Excellent. Thank you, Tommy, for that next question here for you. Mm -hmm. Is there a mobile app that one could use to provision the phones? A mobile app to provision. Now, uh, it depends. I think if you if you go back to our, it, let's assume that you actually use an FMDA um, management system, okay, and you actually deploy it in a, in a site. Then my question is, if you if you're able to access that management system remotely, then the answer would be yes. I don't think there's a there's an application that you can download via Apple or Google to be able to say ah. You know, here's something that you can do, but what you can do is remotely check in on a site uh, that you can do and then and then be able to manage the interface remotely, but then that would be a remote connection to a server. Thank you for that, Tommy. Next question here for you. Um, does Fanville offer any online classes for our tech for any technical support team? Um, well, the answer is yes. Um, I think for people who want classes, feel free to give me a call and I'll be more than happy to identify what's the specific topic because all of these phones have very different challenges for different partners. You know, give me a call or send me an email and let me know what type of challenge that you want to look at and I can go ahead and pick out the best solution. And what that may be is that if something is very, very complicated, I can go ahead and bring on product management overseas so that you have our key and core technology people online on a conference call so that we can address you know, that specific problem as well. And I'm also located locally here in the States. So take, for example, if you're out there trying to push Fanville, what you can do is give me a call uh, you know, I know that many people are experts, a lot of different lines. I'm sort of the local expert here at Fanville. Please give me a call. I'll be more than happy to hop on a line with you and be able to help you out and address any questions that you might have speaking to your end client. And so, like I said, when I started off with this webinar, you know, I sort of used me as a tool so that, so that I could bring out, you know, the best uh, light of our solutions on, on your behalf. Excellent. Thank you so much for that, Tommy. Last question here for you. Um, yeah. On minimum custom orders, um, is support still handled by Fanville? Uh, yeah. In fact, um, what we do, like in the case of, 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 of the customized banners, right, what we'll do is we end up providing the desk phone pretty much with an empty top plate, but we'll provide separately the actual customized banner uh, as, as the deliverable. Okay, so say if a person ordered 200 or 300 units, we'll go ahead and provide them separately and they could actually be, perhaps contact you or, or they can go ahead and pop those banners in manually if they wanted to so that the phone looks like what they do. And if, if they want to order more, then we're willing to take on more value by being able to deliver the phones with the actual custom banners on the phone itself. So but we, what we want to do is we want to provide an entry point for those uh, service providers that don't want to jump in with, with both feet yet, they just kind of want to go say, ah, oh, let's go ahead and see what is going on. We provide an entry vehicle so that, you know, they're not overcommitted and being able, if they like it, then they can go higher if they want to in the future. So, you know, it's, it's a low risk. It's also a low risk on both sides because, you know, it costs us more to do this, but, you know, we're willing to share that risk with many of our partners out there. Fantastic, Tommy. Thank you for all that information and for answering all of those questions for us today. Also, thank you to everyone for attending today's webinar. And if anyone has any further questions, of course, please feel free to contact your sales rep or email us at sales at microcomtech.com. And if you wish to view these products mentioned and shown here today, please visit us at www.microcom.us. Also, please remember this webinar presentation has been recorded and will be uploaded to, into our Microcom YouTube channel so you can view it again. Thank you, Tommy, for your information today. We enjoyed it very much. Have an excellent day today.
Thank you, Julie. And thank you, audience, as well. Thank you for your time. Excellent. Thank you. Bye-bye, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.